Ross, wow, what a win. 4 0 here at Ebbsfleet. A really dominant performance as well. Just give us your initial thoughts on that one. Yeah, um, I probably agree with that. You know, it was from start to finish, I thought we were the dominant team. Um, you know, scored some really good goals, um, controlled the game, and the three points are good, the four goals is good, but I think we, we probably deserved seven goals. We missed some chances. Um, I think just for the boys' sake, you know, they really worked hard today. So to get an extra couple goals would have um, been great for them. But we, we can't argue with the result. We can't argue with the points. Um, we've come here, we've put a fine display on um, and we've taken the points off them. And that's what we wanted to do and that's what we're coming to do. So um, job done today. In some fashion as well. You, you want to speak about performances and then the result will follow. There's no bigger you know, analogy than that going into play today because that's exactly what happened. We put in a brilliant performance from start to finish, 11 v 11, 11 v 10, whatever, and got the and got the result, didn't we? Yeah, I mean, 11 v 11, I thought we dominated still. We were 2-0 up. Um, looked like we can score every time we go forward. Um, and then they have a sending off. Then, you know, we sort of put them to the sword after that. And I mean, yeah, the only downside is we probably should have taken a few more chances. It probably, we should have had maybe seven goals, six, seven. So. I'm not going to beat ourselves up a little bit or um, any negatives from today. It's, everything is positive. Performance was positive. Individual and a collective performance was there. Um, you know, two new boys come into the, the mix today and you wouldn't have known they were new. They've adapted really well. They've listened. They've took everything on board. And, and today was a real team, team effort from start to finish. And uh, we wanted to come here and impose ourselves a little bit more, um, step on to them. And I thought we'd done that. So uh, the boys fully really deserve the feeling right now because they've worked hard in a week leading to this game. Two debuts, Alex McQueen and Cole uh, Pekawa. Pe Pe sorry, um, two players like you just said. Pekawa looked like he'd been in the squad since the beginning of the season, and Alex McQueen, despite not playing since I think February or wherever the, the MLS season um, finished, you know, came in and, and, and scored a goal. So you must be absolutely delighted with that as well. Yeah, um, just you know, they're, they're senior boys, but they come in with open minds. Um, they've taken everything on board. They've listened. They've got a great attitude so far. Uh, and today you can see that, you know, they've got a bit of experience in this league. Um, maybe something we lacked previous games, but, you know, we've got some bodies back as well now. So in terms of Cole and Alex, you know, great game for them to come into, good feeling. Um, you know, they're senior boys, so they've got a voice. And that's really key to what we're trying to do here. So um, in terms of debuts, first class, um, I think Alex could have probably had a couple goals. So that's probably only down to that. Um, but Cole, you know, came in, didn't really look troubled at all. Um, Led the back line with Canis really well and the two fullbacks and the boys in front. And, and overall, it was a really good performance. Jack as well, I think he made one save in the first half. Um, good tip around the corner. Other than that, didn't really have much to do. So, real dominant performance. We wanted to come here with intent to, to put it on them. Um, and I think the boys did that. So, um, big credit to the boys today because the application was, was pretty high. Positives everywhere. How big are the positives that Reese Fleet and Nike Kirby got some game time today coming off the bench? That must be a massive positive as well. Yeah, I mean, obviously they weren't um, fit enough to start. They're still a little bit behind in terms of fitness. But I think at the scoreline it was, it's, it's, a, it's an important time to get some minutes into the boys. We don't have friendlies or reserve games or anything like that. So we've got to get minutes in somehow. Um, and I thought it was the right moment to, to get those boys back in. And, and just to have their faces around is really key. Um, we had Aaron last week and... Um, Naira was on the bench and then Naira got on today with Fleety. Hopefully we get one or two back in a few more weeks. So, yeah, it looks good in terms of the injury list. We're, we're doing a lot more to try and prevent those injuries. And, and the boys who have stepped in, I must say, have done first class. So, um, shirts, uh, yeah, they're, they're going to be um, up for grabs here and there. Uh, and I don't mean that in a bad way. It's got to be competition. Those boys coming back have got to go for their shirts again and get them back. But we've got to stick together. It's um, a relentless league. Um, but the togetherness in the group right now is really good, so we've got to move on now. 2-0 up at half-time. Even with 10 men, if they get the next goal, they probably would have had a little bit of a, a resurgence. How nice was it to come out in the in the second half and pick off exactly where we did in the first and kill the game off pretty much as soon as it started? I thought first half, there's a moment in the first half towards the back of it that we could have made it free. I thought we could have punished them. Um, we had a couple of half chances that in and around the box, the last pass wasn't good enough, a little bit scrappy, cut back. Uh, and I thought we could have probably put them to the sword the first half, but it is what it is. You know, they're, you know, they're a good team as well. You know, you've got, we've got to respect that as well. Uh, but second half was clear instructions. There's no confusion. Um, next goal is really important. And when you get that third one, it's always hard to come back from. So to get that, that goal quite early, um, obviously does settle everyone's nerves and 
Um, even against 10, 10 is dangerous at times. It's sometimes harder to play against 10 because everyone works at 10% harder. Um, but the boys took their goals well. Again, we could have had a few more, um, but we just looking at the scoreboard, you can't argue. 4-0 uh, away at Ebbsfleet. Um, so yeah, we take the positives and move on now. You talk about them being a good team. You're absolutely right. Ran away with the National League South title last year. We know that they won it against us. Fast forward X amount of months. Today, we've done that to them. How pleasing is that, like looking back and seeing how far we've come as a team? Yeah, really. I mean, I thought last season they were, they were really good, you know. They won the league quite comfortably. Um, played some really good football. I thought today we were just different. You know, I thought we covered ground better than them. I thought we was on the front foot. We were aggressive. Every time we went forward, we looked like we could score. Um, our unit shape and our togetherness was was there. And I think maybe, you know, Alex, a bit of experience. Um, obviously, we missed Josh today, but Oli led, led, uh, led the line really well. We had Corley on the other side. Um, we had Cole at the back with Kenneth, with fullbacks. Ev everyone was contributing today. And I think when everyone contributes and everyone does their jobs, um, you've got half a chance of winning the game. So today we did that. We've got to make sure we recover now because that was a, obviously a shift as well. Uh, we get back on the bus and prepare for Tuesday now. That, talking about Tuesday, massive trip, massive game. Looking forward to it? Yeah, yeah, 100%. Uh, we look forward to every game and going to York. I haven't been there personally. Some of the boys haven't been there. Um, no, nice setup. Um, another full-time club we're going we're gonna to go face. But the boys are in good spirits. You know, we trained really hard over the last three weeks um, leading into this game. So I think, um, you know, I, I think we needed that game, this game today. I think we needed that result, the way we've been working. And uh, I hope it was clear enough on the side that, you know, the structure was really good and the boys' appetite was really, um, really big today. So really pleased again could have got five six maybe seven goals can't argue four nil three points on the road now we head back to oxford and back to back wins as well that must be a really nice thing going into that york game yeah 100 percent. i think if you can put a run on any league you got half a chance of doing well so um this game's done now you know everyone's having a shower we're going to get back on the bus it's done we'll eat some food and now we've got to think towards tuesday so we've got to rest up and recover um and hopefully you know, some of the boys who played night today aren't too wounded, but it's our job to then go again Tuesday, so the boys have got to do it. Ross, thanks very much and well done. Cheers.